planes comprise the first unit of the new Egyptian Air Force which is about to leave Lim in England for Cairo. Egyptian pilots who were sent over to England to be trained are taking the planes out to Egypt under the command of squadron leader Jack Campbell, one of Britain's most daring aces, who has been loaned to the Egyptian government. Their work will be the patrolling of the desert borders for the detection of dope smuggling and the suppression of drug trafficking. It has been found that air policing is the only effective means of wiping out this nefarious trade. When King Cheops built the Great Pyramids 5,000 years ago, he didn't think anybody would look down on them. But to these flying men, they look just like paperweights. The flag goes up as the planes approach Cairo, where a great welcome awaits them. The squadron is to be received by all the most important officials of the Egyptian government. With them is General Fairley, to whom squadron leader Campbell will report. The planes make a graceful descent, skimming the heads of spectators and troops as they prepare to land. It is a great day and a historic day for Egypt and the crowd is keyed up with enthusiasm at the first glimpse of their new air force. A perfect landing. Squadron leader Campbell climbs out of his plane, and with a smartness that has suffered nothing from the rigors of the crossing, the squadron marches up to be received by General Fairley and the committee. Up he goes. The big moment has arrived. The squadron leader salutes proudly. His salute is returned by the general. Now the other pilots are marching up to receive congratulations. Two paces backward. March! Look out, look out! Good heavens, the squadron leader made a forced landing. I hope he hasn't bent his undercarriage. No, he seems to be all right, and he's picked himself up and hurries back to the platform under perfect control. Evidently, the general is wondering where he's gone. Ah, there he is. And now he is to meet the general's wife. I don't think he understands who the lady is, but he shakes hands anyway. The general invites him to sit down. Hey, get up! Oh, he's simply covered with confusion. Now comes the high spot of the ceremony. The reception committee has arranged for a little girl to present a bouquet to the squadron leader, who in turn is to hand it to the general's wife. The squadron leader doesn't seem to understand. By the look on his face, he was only expecting flowers if he didn't get there. But the little girl brings him back to earth. She's telling him he has to give the flowers to the general's wife, and he gets the idea at once. Well, he gets the right idea, but the wrong wife. The little girl is doing her best to retrieve the situation, but the squadron leader is beginning to look as though he's flying through fog without his instruments. Anyway, he's up in the air again. Now what? He's on the verge of a great decision. Ah, he's taken the flowers and given them to the general. But the general doesn't appreciate flowers and he's given them back. And now the squadron leader presents them to the little girl and makes an appointment to see her later. Fast workers, these airmen. And once again he sits down. Careful. Well, that's gone off all right, thank goodness. And now the general's wife is putting him at his ease with a little light conversation. Looks like a drawing room story. I don't think the squadron leader quite sees the point, but anyhow he's laughing politely. Hmm, they ought to hear the squadron leader tell one. Yes, he's telling one now. I hope it isn't that one about the nudist colony. Oh, the general's wife doesn't think it funny. The general doesn't think it funny. The squadron leader wonders why their mothers never told them anything. And now, Campbell, to sum up, your instructions are to patrol each section of your territory with a separate machine and thus effectively truncate the field of operations. Exactly. Cut up the desert into strips. Yes. Huh? Yes. You'll keep a close watch on the movement of every Bedouin and every caravan, and then... I shall patrol the frontier and Nile crossings at regular intervals, supplying you with a batch of information, which will give you something to work on while I'm away. Are you giving me orders, or am I giving them to you? I'm giving them to you to give to me. What? Oh, pardon me, sir. <laughs> we were cutting up the desert into strips. Our chief objective is drug smuggling. Mm -hmm. Everything points to an organized gang, which must be got rid of entirely. Now, understand me, got rid of entirely. Then we must get right down to it. Take our coats off. You seem keen. You bet you. Rather. Well, this will give you an opportunity of showing us what you're made of. Then I'll have to take my shirt off, too. I've gone too far. You certainly have. I quite agree. I didn't ask you to agree. Now, let's start again. We cut up our shirts into strips. The, the desert, I mean, which must be got rid of entirely. Now, what the devil are you talking about? The organized gang. Ah, precisely. Yes. So we just have a real clean-up. And we'll take off our shirts to do it. Campbell, I've reason to believe there's a woman mixed up with this gang. Then we must keep our shirts on. I've gone too far again. You have indeed. That's the second time. Once more, you'll be angry, and I wouldn't blame you, but don't worry, sir. <laughs> shirt or no shirt, I'll show you what I'm made of. I'm very glad to have had this little chat with you, and I hope we have many more. Don't worry about the smugglers, sir. Their days are numbered. 
I'm going straight out to round them up. I'll leave you now, sir, to have 40 winks. Take off, climb in formation to 1,000 feet, break formation and patrol the desert, keeping a sharp lookout for caravans. Just a minute, sir. Your pigeon. Oh, I mustn't forget my wireless. Hello, Amy. Contact. One of the petrol birds sent out to watch us. Hide the stuff carefully. We must get it through to our chief. You men remain silent. I will do the talking. From beyond Suez. Who's this? Uh, that is my wife. Good morning. What are you carrying on these camels? Food. Anything else? No, nothing else. I'll have to search this caravan. Why? Who are you? Never mind about that. Open these bags. I refuse. Open these bags. For what reason shall I open them? Because you're a smuggler. Did you call me a smuggler? I did. A smuggler? Ah! I have been called a smuggler. The prophecy is fulfilled. What prophecy? The picture in the sand. We will try it again. It has been revealed through the mysteries of the East. It has also appeared in the stars. Beware of Tuesday, it said. Did it? Yes. What is today? I don't know. I'm a bit confused. Ah! Look! He sees it again! It is there! Is he going to do the Indian rope trick? Ah! Look! He points to the zodiac sign! Shh! I get you. Today is Tuesday. I thought it was. Beware of Tuesday! Who, me? Master! It is there again! A tall man in white comes down from the skies to dishonor your good name. It is true, it is true. I say I'm most terribly sorry. Ali, son of the wind, has been called a smuggler. Now, 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 don't distress yourself. Oh, but you don't understand. My family honor is destroyed. For hundreds of years, they must bear the stigma of the evil. <laughs> no, 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 you've got the wrong idea. Look here. You've got a wonderful future, good gracious me. I see a tall, dark man coming across the water with bags and bags of gold. No, oh, it is too late. Suspicion will forever dog my skin. No, 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 no. 
I've made a great mistake, that's all. I'm sorry. Shake, 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 shake. Put it there. Ha <laughs> ha, forget it. And tonight, when you look at the stars, you'll see the winner of next year's derby. <laughs> so long, shake. Yeah, trying to get away from me like that. Come on, out of that machine. You've got to be searched. Your suggestion is most improper. Oh, I say, I say, I, 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 I say, I, 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 I beg your pardon. I, I had no idea. <laughs> why have you been chasing me all this time? Haven't you got a girlfriend of your own? Why did you try to get away from me? Because my people told me never to talk to strange men in the air. Oh, I see. <laughs> Where are you going? That's my business. I'm sorry, but it's my business too. Oh, are you a detective? Yes. I'm looking for a woman smuggler. And so far you've failed. Have I? You're just wasting your time. Yes, of course, you don't know anything about the smugglers at all. Not a thing. No, 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 exactly, no, no. You're just out here in the desert for fun. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course, quite. <laughs> it's a pity there's not a band playing. We might dance. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fine. Yes. I love dancing. <laughs> Well, I hope now that you realize you've made a mistake. I want proof of that. Isn't my word enough? I'm afraid not. That has definitely annoyed me. I'm going. Oh, no, you're not. You're under arrest. We're going to Cairo. Are we? Shall I come a little nearer, or can you hit me from there? Do you want to see how straight I can shoot? Yes. That's your petrol tank over there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Was that a shot or was that a shot? That was a shot. That was another. All right, don't bother anymore. I'm satisfied. Thank you very much. And now, I'd like you to do something for me. <laughs> sure, with pleasure. I'll do anything in the world for you, when you've got that gun. Then will you go and swing my propeller, please? Quickly! Contact. Contact.
Well, Amy, old girl, here's where you do your wireless act and fly back to headquarters with an SOS. <laughs> you needn't bother. I'll take a taxi. Hi, taxi? <coughs> Whoa, no, 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 no. Drive me to Carlo, will you? <coughs> Thank you very much. How do we get up? <coughs> I see, climb up. You're a little bit uh, big, aren't you? You don't have to know of a smaller camel around here, do you? I'm afraid I've lost my way now. Wait a minute, I'm not up. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Give me a chance, wait a minute. <laughs> That's good, I'm up. No, I'm not. <laughs> now, wait a minute, what's the idea? What's the idea? Yes, I know, come over here now. Now, can you fold up? You can, well then, do it. <laughs> now, I haven't got time to play about, I'm in a great hurry. Now, fold yourself up. Fold yourself up. Like this. Ah. Thank you very much. Come on now, Carlo. Off we go. Hey, <coughs> You're a very naughty little camel. Now then, if you do that again, I shall spank you. You're going to get it. Ah. Now then, do you see this stick? If you don't behave yourself, I'm going to hit you with it. Yes. I'm talking to you. What are you doing? Let go, let go, let go, let... Here. That settles it. Now then, fold yourself up quickly. Phew. I can't believe it. Now this time we're going. <laughs> Come on now, get up. Ah, we're off. Come on now, whoa. We're off. Saida. Saida, my sheikh. Is the master not here? Yes. Let him know the caravan arrived. Sayyid. Ya Sidi, the good sheikh has arrived. Estani hina lama torib shams. Sayyid, you sir. Sayyid, oh master. Do you bring good news? Yes, plenty. I have smuggled it across the border. Good. One of the petrol birds swooped down on us. So? Our work is getting more dangerous, Master. But we can always find the ways and means, so long as you can find the prize. Here it is. You must be careful how you send this into Cairo. Every day the net draws tighter. <laughs> my methods are so secret that even my son of the wind could not discover them. <laughs> and he would be ill-advised to try. chance of filling station. Well, what do you wish to fill? Daisy, Amy, and a tall man in white with an empty stomach. I see. Have an accident? No, no, just teaching Daisy to fly. Would you like a drink? Oh, you, you don't even have to ask me. Please, come down. Yes, <clears throat> well, uh, we will endeavor to land. Daisy, hold yourself up. Down, down, <laughs> that's the stuff. Now fold up the back ones. That's a good girl. I didn't think that was going to happen. 
Is your plane much damaged? No, I just stopped on the way to have a game of darts. Oh, in that case, I'm sure my men could fix it up for you. Dara! Have the men take squadron leader's plane around to the back and repair it. How are you, Tilly? Oh, could you give my friends a little food? Why, certainly. Amy likes shortbread, and Daisy will do a hundred miles on a piece of chewing gum. <laughs> Won't you come in? Thanks awfully. Slip those things off and cool down. Oh, thanks very much. What do you do with yourself all day here? Dig. What, potatoes? Oh, no, no. Treasures. Oh. These things. Good gracious, did you dig up all these? Yes. The soil here must be very fertile. It is. I dig up enough to supply the museum and also sell to a dealer in Cairo. This must be the one country in the world where agriculture pays. <laughs> Is that a gas engine, or do I hear strains of Arabian music? I spare no expense for the entertainment of my guests. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Two gins and tonics. You're looking for these dope smugglers, aren't you? Who told you that? You remember stopping a sheikh with his caravan some time ago? What, a tall man with a long beard and a white horse? Yes. I've known him for years, ever since I first came to Egypt. He's my greengrocer. Good gracious. And he told you? He's a very nice man. Straight as a die. Oh, delightful. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I can tell a smuggler the moment I see him. There's a kind of uh, shiftiness in the eye. I can spot it every time. But we're going to get rid of all these fellas. We're going to clean up the entire country. Yes, but isn't that going to be a very hard job? Oh, very hard. I'm going straight to the fountain head. It's the leader of the whole gang I'm after. And believe me, it's going to be a tough day for him when we come face to face. You know, I'm beginning to feel sorry for him already. <laughs> I got a red hot clue. He's got an innocent girl in his clutches. Really? And what a girl. Oh, <laughs> very delectable. I met her in the desert. I've got her address, so I'm going around to call on her for further information, several times. Yasidi Emrajagirik Yarak. What? Oh, will you excuse me a minute? Oh, sure, yes. <laughs> Aida. That's grand. <laughs> Can you play anything else? Can you play pack up your troubles in your old kit bag? Good. Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag. That's it. Everything's wonderful, life's okay. I wonder what's happened to the world today. Who's been polishing the sun, rubbing up the clouds of grey? They must have known just how I like it. Everything's coming my way. Who's been teaching all the birds how to sing around a lay? They must have known just how I like it. Everything's coming my way. Yesterday everything looked anyhow. Then I met someone and look at it now. Who's been polishing the sun, rubbing out the clouds of grey? They must have known just how I like it. Everything's coming my way. Tell me who's been polishing the sun, sweeping all the stormy clouds away. They must have known just how I like it. Every little thing is going to be okay. Tell me who's been teaching all the birds how to sing a merry round of lay. They must have known just how I like it. Everything's coming my way. Yesterday everything looked anyhow. Then I fell in love with the sweetest little girl and look at me now. Why don't you tell me who's been polishing the sun, sweeping the clouds away. They must have known just how I like it. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. Yum, bum, 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 yum, da, 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 yum, da, 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 da,
yesterday everything looked anyhow Then I fell in love with the sweetest little girl And look, look, look at me now Who's been polishing the sun, rubbing out the clouds on grey They must have known just how I like it Everything's coming my way <laughs> But how are you going to get the stuff through to Cairo with the petrol, Bert? He? I think he is going to mysteriously disappear. Disappear? Yes. I am mixing a very special drink for him. Have you anything I could add to it? Ah, I think I have. Here. Yeah, that looks good. I'm so sorry I was away so long. Oh, not a bit. And now we'll destroy this insatiable desert test. Your hospitality is overwhelming. When the Air Force hear about this, you'll have the whole lot out here. Good. That's a wonderful antique. Yes. It's belonged to one of the kings of the 18th dynasty. Oh, really? What do all these hieroglyphics mean? Which one? That one. Well, that one. That one denotes that he was the ruler of upper and lower... Egypt. Oh, yes, of course. This umbrella thing means Upper Egypt, and the fly here means Lower Egypt. Yes. Yes, that's right. Uh, would you care to help yourself? Thanks very much. There was something else I saw here somewhere. Where was it? It was around the other side. Oh, I've lost it now. Wait a second. Excuse me. It was next to the owl. Ah, here it is. The scarab. <laughs> that's a marvellous bit of carving. Just like the little fellows you see crawling about in the desert today. Well, here's fun. Excuse me. There's a fly in your drink. There's one in mine, too. Esma, you two little drinks quickly. These flies are a pest. Yes. I hope that gin poisons them. That's the nearest I've got to a drink for 24 hours. That must be one of the difficulties of your job, never knowing where you're going to be sent. Oh, no, on the contrary. We've got the whole thing mapped out. We cut the desert up into strips and patrol every inch with our machines. That must keep you pretty busy. Oh, yes. You are seedy. Oh, here we are. We've already made it practically impossible for any smugglers to get the stuff through by road into the towns. That's very interesting. How? By guarding every road and every entrance. And any man who tried to get the stuff through by road would be trapped for a certainty. Where are you making for from here? Cairo. Is there anything I can do for you? I don't suppose you could give me a lift, could you? I'm sorry. It's absolutely forbidden. But if there's anything I can do for you in Cairo, I'd be tickled to death. Thank you. I wonder if you could take something in for me. Certainly. Thank you very much. Right. It's just a few alabaster vases which I'm sending to my partner in the bazaar. They are most valuable, so I must pack them carefully. They are right here. I hope you don't mind carrying them in this. It's all I've got. Oh, it's perfectly all right. Yes, it is. Those are machines ready. Good. I'll get my things on. Here is your machine, sir. Is where are my friends? Oh, here they are. Come on, Amy. We're going to fly again. Well, goodbye, Daisy, old girl. I'm sorry I can't take you with me, but I haven't got room. <laughs> Would you mind seeing this lady home? She lives 800 sand dunes down there. Thank you very much indeed. Goodbye. Here you are, my friend. Thanks awfully for taking care of me. Not at all. It was my pleasure. My salama. Chiaro. You better stand back out of my dust. Let him get away. To take this stuff to Cairo. 
He's the only man who can get it through. <laughs> news that is at once both interesting and invaluable. Enormous possibilities loom on the horizon. Kind to come to the point, Campbell. There's a woman mixed up with this smuggling gang, sir. I know that. I told you that myself. But I've caught her. You brought her here? No, sir. Why not? She wouldn't come. Wouldn't come? Why didn't you arrest her? She wouldn't let me. She pulled out a gun and started firing. Were you hit? Badly. Where were you hit? In the petrol tank. Twice. You let her fire at your tank? Yes, sir. I thought she'd miss. Do you realize this is very serious? It might have been far more serious if she'd fired at me. Are you absolutely convinced that this is the woman you've been looking for? Absolutely. Wait till you see her. No, I must get to work and get her here at once, sir. No, sir. You keep out of this. I found her first. Who the devil are you talking to? I've gone too far again. You, you... Say exactly what you think, sir. I'm going to say exactly what I think. And what do you think? I won't tell you what I think. Do you want to know what I think? No. You're disappointed in me. Definitely. Sorry I came out here. I refuse to participate in this asinine conversation. Give me a description of the woman. It's quite unnecessary, sir, because she's innocent. Then what the devil are we arguing about? Absolutely nothing. Everything's fine. This girl, somehow or other, has got mixed up with a gang. And through her, I'm going to find out all about them. I'll go and fix a date now. Wait a minute. You know where she is? Ye I dare say I might find her for you, sir. Oh, give me this girl's description. Height. Just right. Figure. Glorious. Wait. About eight stones, sir. Fat or thin? Neither. Then what is she? Just perfect. You know the color of her eyes? Oh, yes. Blue. Blue. Blue as the Nile. Now, make it Mediterranean. And her hair? Shandy Gap yellow. Don't worry, sir. I'll find this girl somehow, drag the truth out of her, force her to confess, make her reveal the methods of the gang. You don't want to hear any more, do you, sir? No. Right. Goodbye, sir. to ask me to have tea with you like this. But I haven't. Then uh, why are you here? That's exactly what I want to know. Are you pleased to see me? No. <laughs> That's a lie, isn't it? Yes. Do you like me? No. That's a lie, too. <laughs> I know exactly why you're here. You're sorry because you were so rude to me in the desert. I certainly am not. Oh, yes, you are. You've got blue eyes. So beautiful. Blue is the med... <clears throat> now, I, uh... I'm going to give you an opportunity to clear yourself. The best thing you can do is to make a full confession. About what? I know perfectly well that you're connected with this gang, so you may as well tell me the whole story. And if I refuse? I could arrest you. <laughs> Don't be silly, you couldn't. <laughs> I could. All right, go on. I dare you. Well, I can't. You're sitting down. Well, I'm certainly not going to stand up. Then I can't arrest you at all. Good. Have some more tea. Thank you very much. <laughs> Those eyes are grand. Excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have a most important business meeting. All right. I'll come now. 
That's my chief. I'll have to go. Well, goodbye. Something tells me we'll meet again. Something tells me that you're perfectly right. But remember, I've warned you. Goodbye. Did you succeed? Yes. It was very easy. Yes, but I'm a little bit worried about the risk. Oh, I don't think... Shh. We will distribute the packages as arranged tomorrow. Right. Where shall I meet you? I will be in front of the hotel at 10 o'clock. Saida. Morning, Dr. Zaga. Everything's ready? Yes. I have 1,000 packages in the car. We go to the pyramid. Come. Right. If you please. You want a good guide? Give you a good time? Show you good sights? No. No? You want to see... Some postcards? No. No? You want to go to the pyramids? You want to see skateboards? You want to see donkeys? No. You want to shave? Haircut? Shoe shine? No, empty. Uh, no, but me, best man. I'll show you best man. You come with me. Follow that car. Oh, what do you mean by doing this? You're not the guy I engaged. Ah, him bad man, no nothing. Me best man, no all. Oh, look, mother, the great pyramids of Giza. They're 5,000 years old. He's just behind us. Good. Come along. Why, they're simply colossal. I want you to tell us all about both of them. Yes. I think we see them better from the other side. Ada, Saida, Vasha, Saida, Adil Turut, Saib. You sure wanted him to place them in the tomb until Thursday? Oh, yes. Oh, Guy, how old is the thing? Uh, 4,000 years. The book says it's 8,000 years old. Ah, that is an old book. Allow me. Thank you. <laughs> this way, please. But what are we in such a hurry for? Too late. Too late for what? Oh! <laughs> ah! No, we are not. The family album. But who is it? Ramesses. From the time he was a little baby until now. Ah. 
آه الملكة حتشبست تقدم للآلهة أنوبوس وأوسيريس وحوروس وأمون را معبود طيبة الأكبر He say he don't know I'll be to that Thank you sir Ah, at last Got him Caught him red-handed I promised I was going to show you something And there it is Faraghi Follow me. Don't be afraid. He won't shoot. Do not give the packets out until Thursday, eh? The quest could eat a better. You're under arrest for smuggling dope. And here are my witnesses. Gosh, where are they? Ah, oh, there they are. <laughs> now, this is the evidence. Oh, really? That's very amusing. Get in that car. And you? I say you have caught the sun. Yes. And I caught the smugglers, too. I warned you about this. Well, you see, I was... Don't talk, it's dangerous. Get in that car. Get in that car! All right. I'm going to get you out of this mess, whether you like it or not. You drive to the police station. Oh, are you two witnesses? Get in that car at the back. And I'll be there. That's the second time that's happened to me. Get out there, hold tight. Move over, I'm going to drive. Stop! Stop! There's the Colossi and Memnon! We can't stop to pick up anybody now! I told you to not deliver the goatskin bag in Cairo. If he opens it, we're finished. Tell our agents to shoot him at sight. And until he's out of the way, I will not take any more stuff from the Sheikh. Time. But my dear friend, it's unbelievable. You say that one of my officers, dressed as a guide, followed you for a considerable time and then tried to arrest you as drug smugglers? Yes. I'm establishing a new brand of cigarettes called Egyptian Kings. Miss Rogers, my publicity agent, suggested that we should distribute samples to the keepers of the tombs to be handed over to the visitors. Just a little publicity stunt. May I present two of the packet? They soothe and satisfy. Thank you, but I don't smoke cigarettes. My dear Zaga, why on earth didn't you tell Campbell he was making a fool of himself? Ah, that would have spoiled my advertising scheme. This has given us a great story. Story? Yes. All Egypt laughing at Orestal tobacco magnet. Air Force officer discovers famous Egyptian kings. Cigarettes. Now, please understand, on no account must this regrettable incident get into the press. I'm afraid it's too late. It's already in. This is outrageous. Excuse me, sir. This bag was left in your plane. My gosh, I've forgotten all about that. <laughs> Give it a hand, will you? Ah, thank goodness I found you, sir. Terrific news. I found the head of the whole gang. Actually caught him red-handed, giving the stuff to the natives. I placed him under arrest, but nothing came of it. The dirty tyke scarfed with that beautiful girl I told you about in the desert. Something's got to be done about this girl, sir. When I looked into those pathetic blue eyes, they were imploring me to extricate her from the poisonous clutches of this octopus. Then you'd better do it now. Oh, hello. Ah. 
So you've come here to try and save yourself, but it's too late. I've got the evidence. I've got the evidence in the bag, sir. That's what it is in the bag. Where is the bag, sir? Oh, of course, yes. Give me the... Uh, no, 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 not that one, this one. Thank you. Keep your eye on him, sir. He's liable to scarper again. He knows what's inside. Well, open it. I will. Well, I've certainly cut my shirt up into strips. Egyptian King cigarettes. Perhaps you'd like to read the story. Thank you very much, sir. We work fast in the advertising world. Well, goodbye. 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 What? Uh, goodbye. <laughs> now, Mr. Campbell, you see what comes of getting fresh with bonds in the desert. I'm sorry, but business is business, you know. Now, you unutterable, blithering idiot. So this is how you embellish the reputation of the Air Force. While you've been clowning about Egypt and making us the laughing stock of the country, we've made an important discovery on information received from the police. If you'd come to me, I'd have sent you straight out into the desert to trap the very man who's the head of this dope gang. He works in the desert, pretends to be an archaeologist. Why couldn't you find that out? Well, as a matter of fact, sir, I did. Oh, don't bluff me. You've yes, never even heard of him. Oh, I, I, While I, I, you've been chasing innocent people around the temples, we've been doing your work for you. Yes, yes, yes. We know he gets his stuff from a shape. Well, there's something else we know. We know he gets unsuspecting idiots into his hut, entertains him with every kind of hospitality, from coffee to Arabian music, and then actually uses these poor fools to carry his stuff to his confederates in Cairo. Someone who lived in quite recently. We haven't yet discovered who. Good. In all probability, he's brought the stuff into Cairo already. I think it's quite likely. Oh. Do you happen to know how he makes them carry it, sir? In a bag. What sort of bag, sir? A goatskin bag. What does goatskin look like, sir? Goatskin, you fool. Yes, of course. Would it be about uh, that size? No, it'd be about that size. That size? That size! Not that size. No, that size! That size! Exactly. Exactly. Wait a minute. Now listen to me. You'll hand over your plane to Russell, and from now on you'll take his place on the ground. Very good, sir. Now wait till I get in. Ask Flight Lieutenant Russell to come to me. Bring that bag back. Uh, the, uh, yes, yes, uh, the, uh, this bag, well, uh, uh, this bag. I was, uh, <laughs> going to take it to uh, Zaga. He forgot it. Well, leave it to me, I'll see to that. Oh, don't you worry, sir. Put it on the table. Yes, sir. <clears throat> well, what are you waiting for? I don't really know. Uh, just to see that it's on the table. Oh, <laughs> Oh, dear. Now, how did that happen? What the devil are you doing? Just looking for it, sir. You still want it on the table? Yes. Sure. Excuse me. Hello, hello, hello. It's the other one, sir. You rang. No? Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. What are you waiting for? I thought you'd like to see me. No, I don't want to see you. I'm not talking to you, I don't think. I'll find out. Am I talking to this girl? No, you're not. Thank you very much. Goodbye. I'm sorry you're down and out. I'm not. Far from it. Can't I help you? I don't want your help. Why not? Don't you trust me? Yes. I knew all the time you were innocent. That makes me feel worse. Oh, don't let it worry you. I know who the culprit is, and I'm going out now to get the evidence. What are you going to do? There's a sheikh in the desert who travels with a large caravan and a wife. And he supplies a gentleman who calls himself an archaeologist with the stuff. And here it is. What in... Tomorrow, I am that sheikh. What about the caravan? I'll take care of that. What about the wife? Ah. I'll take care of that. Oh, no, you won't. I will. How many men are there in this caravan? Twenty. Are you sure you can trust them? Implicitly. But supposing they talk? These men won't talk, but they'll sing.
where the blighter lives. Must have gone wrong. Hold us a minute, will you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Turn around, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry. That's better. Sidi, did you go check his coming? Time. Fred, Fred, why can't you look where you're going? Good gracious me. Laugh, and you stop laughing. Now then, my trusty men. We're about to meet the enemy. And if anyone tries to talk, I'll knock his block off. Sing! All I've got to do is to make him take the stuff, and when he does, arrest him. Check. Cider. Can Ali, son of the wind, blow in? Sure. Thank you. You have some new men. Oh, uh, yes. Brand new. Can you trust them? Oh, their lips are sealed. I'll ask them to have a drink. No, 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 no. They are quite happy where they are. They have been singing all day. <laughs> well, sit down. Uh, no, thank you. I stand. Well, Sheikh, what's on your mind? Now, let us get down to business. Here is this stuff. I don't want it. I beg your pardon? I said I didn't want it. I'm not buying anymore. Have some refreshments. No, no, no. Let us get down to business. <laughs> Wife, leave our presence immediately. No, no, no. Please, come in. Ech, your book, who would be later? Mr. Inji Black, Pete Cafe, huh? It is very difficult to make her say anything. <laughs> she is very shy, very shy. You see how shy she is? Yes. Now let us get down to business. No, 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 let us drink. But she only drinks coffee. Well, the coffee she shall have. Ah, perhaps, uh, yes, very likely. You will make it for her yourself. With pleasure. She must have the best. She say thank you very much. Please. Sit down. Thank you. Uh, I thought I told you to wait outside. I told you you needed a wife. Here, here, here. What are you doing now? Covering your britches. We own no master but fair. We'll win the fight for a mayor. We'll slow to love and There's a camel playing the gramophone. I'll go and fix it. Wait. You see that horse out there? Yes. Settle it, and meet me here in a couple of minutes. What are you going to do? Search for evidence. Yes, but... Shh! Go on, quickly. Here we are, my friend. You expected me to be here? Sure. Why not? Your wife not here? No. She is outside. Well, doesn't she want any coffee? Oh, no, no. Let us get to business. There is the stop. Oh, forget it. Forget it? But, Master, I have come for many miles through great danger. I told you I won't take it. Won't take it? It would be wise to consider more carefully. I told you I won't buy it. Is that final? Absolutely final. 
Then I must have the price. Price? What of? My silence. Let us understand one another. Do nothing foolish, my friend. I have 20 men outside who are devoted to their master. If you report me to the police, you condemn yourself. When the information is given, I shall be safely over the border in my own country. I will return in a few moments for the money. Ah, the coffee smells good. You're back very quickly. I have not been out. Here's your money. Money? Take it. Oh, yes, of course. And here is the stuff. I don't want it. But it is good stuff. Make you dream, give you big ideas, make you think you buy the desert. Take this money and get out. But what about the wife's coffee? Get out! But I can't take the money unless you take the stuff. I've told you I'll have nothing to do with it. Then what are you paying me for? Am I going raving mad? No, I don't think so. Did you demand this money just now or not? Yes, I think I did. Of course you did. Of course I did. And what did I say? You know perfectly well what you said. Yes, and I am not going to repeat what I said. <sighs> now, listen, I make you special price. 20 piastres, it is yours. I don't know what you're talking about. I must be going mad. No, 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 no. You remember me, your old friend, the greengrocer. I come all the way from Suez with carrots and cauliflowers. I have some beautiful new potatoes on the end camel. I have cucumbers, tomatoes, large vegetable marrow. You, who are ah, you? Ah, he is a spy, a traitor. He is no shake. Trying to catch me, eh? He is deceiving you. He is deceiving you. You can't deceive me. I am the shake. I am the shake. Well, one of you is wrong. Right. It's him. You dirty rat. What? I'll... Ah! Oh. That's the way I put him to sleep. <laughs> yes. You don't mind breaking these alabaster vases? No. Not on rats. Right. My sheik, is the monster not well? He does not look too good, does he? What is it? He suffers from a slight attack of alabaster. Shall I bring the doctor? Does he live that way? Yes. Then fetch him quick. All right. <laughs> I've got the evidence, all right, but it's inclined to be heavy. Rayatin, ya sidi. This is no time to try out your Arabic. Kalama garib, ya sidi. Oh, very good, but shut up. We've got to make a dash for it. You two girls mixed up. Goodbye. Now we're going to get it. She'll send a whole lot flying after us. What do we do? What's happened to our chaps? They're at the oasis. Take this. I'm going to fetch them. We may need them.
that wall and I'll take care of this one. Right. Surround the fort! Go ahead! Yeah. It's going to be a hard fight. Get more men quickly. Hey! Fred's lost his head again. We'll use it to draw the enemy's fire. Come on, quick! Here, hold this. We'll make them waste all their ammunition. Go get the rest of the dummy, quick! Son of the wind himself. Ali, hook! Cigarettes. You certainly work fast in the advertising world. It's not my idea. It must be Zargus. Where's the pigeon? On the camel. Come on, we're going to send a message. Yes, she is. Good. Get her out quickly. All right, hold this up. That's good. Give it a minute. Now then, take that message to the general. And good luck. I got him first. Good. Take these. Over to the wall, by the tower.
You've got blue eyes. So Will you have dinner with me tonight? What time? About nine. Jack, they're coming over the wall. Colonel McKeown, with my compliments. Yes, sir. Anything more to report? No, sir. That'll do. What the devil was that? I think it's a bird, sir. Well, go and catch it. Yes, sir. It is a bird, sir. Well, now, who the devil has been playing? Why, well, it looks like a carrier. Is it a message? Yes, here we are. Smoke Egyptian King cigarettes. These confounded people ought to be caught martial. Oh, wait a minute. Here is a message. It's from Campbell. SOS of captured head of the gang, Kalmadi. Hello. Notify officers commanding all units to proceed immediately to the old fort near Kalmadi. Tell Captain Russell I shall accompany him personally. Well, my friend, the Air Force has failed. There are some secrets it's wise enough to know. You choose to come out into the desert, and in the desert you're going to stay. <laughs> Get in! Get the goatskin bags! 
Break down the gate. Good. Rubbing out the clouds of grey. They must have known just how I like it. Everything's coming my way. <laughs> 